I have seen you drinking in the most ridiculous state. Shauna, I do not like that kind of language. Sha Shauna? Yeah. She's so young. But, uh, She's never been an issue before. Okay, I'll make time. I'm catching the train into the city. I'll, I'll be in my office at 2.30. 2.30? We'll, we'll be there. You better be there and go through her room. Anything druggy you'll you bring. Adriana! Yes! Not to work without. Get out here! Are you drinking in the garden? Drinking in the garden? Yes, what's that? Feel the bottle. Uh, Isn't it dirty and disgusting? It's hardly like it's been full of beer in the last year. Uh, so you drank it I'm last year in the garden? Still finding beer bottles from your daughter. I outlawed alcohol or any drugs in this garden, except for catnip. I am so angry. Oh, great. Now we'll have broken glass in the garden, as well as our hearts. I can't take this anymore. Well, I'm not the one with the problem. You're the one with the problem, and that daughter of yours over there is the one with the problem. You were the older one. You blamed her for everything. I know this. I blaming and daughter. telling the truth are two separate things. You're always blaming me. I'm the one with a 4.0 grade point average at a Christian girls' school. She has been drinking her entire teenage years, and you haven't been woman enough to stop her. Are you calling me a bad mother? I'm calling you delusional. There aren't beer bottles at the top of that plant. It's a sunflower. I'm out here sweating and toiling and working hard for you, and damn it, I'm not going to take this anymore. Why don't you get Shauna into the garden? Why don't you make her do anything? Why don't you just dig both of your graves with that shovel? You're both treating your bodies like they're... Garbage. Ugh. I will dig and dig and dig. Oh, Damn I've it. had it, Adriana. I've had it. Shauna! <laughs> I'm digging your symbolic grave, Shauna. <laughs> Hello. Uh, Dr. Mouthy? Yes? This is Mavis Dahl. Mavis... What are you doing calling me at home? I'm so sorry. I, I bribed your receptionist for the home number. Oh, incomplete. That is completely inappropriate. I, I just, it's my daughter. I'm, I'm so worried. Well, there's the crisis line you can call. I am, I'm the on crisis vacation. I need you, though. I need to, this needs to happen today. Well, so, you know, part of your problem is being needy, and you're really going to have to call the crisis line. Doctor, it's not about me. It, it, it's my... Shauna, I... Shauna? She's so young. She's never been an issue before. Okay, I'll make time. I'm catching the train into the city. I'll, I'll be in my office at 2.30. 2.30? We'll, we'll be there. You better be there and go through her room. Anything druggy you'll, you bring. Okay. Don't worry. I'll see you then. Yeah, I, I was really hoping you could do me a favor. Well, I double booked myself, and I'm not going to be able to make the one o'clock today. Listen, it's it's really by the book. It's easy peasy. No problem. I, I wouldn't ask you if I thought it was going to be a problem for you. But I'm letting you know that if you don't do this, it's going to be a problem for me. <laughs> That's always such a good sucker punch. I know. <laughs>
We learned it when she went to rehab the first time. I don't like that word, and I don't want you to use it. I won't stop it a minute any longer. I am tired of the way that you're just enabling Shauna. I'm not pushing my weight around like, don't, listen, let's not go there. <laughs> there was no oxycontin could have eaten that water to make anybody think they saw God. <laughs> You've always been jealous of Shauna, and I am tired of it, Adriana. I am not jealous of her. She's got a disease. She's sick, and you're enabling her. If she had cancer, would you... You are so into labels. Cancer and disease. Shauna is a lovely girl. I gave her a kidney, for God's sake. And yet, we find more beer bottles in this garden. Well, are then, they yours? No, and they're not Shauna. Do you have a drinking problem? Because you're clearly insane. Maybe it's Derek, the gardener. Always excuses for her. You are just making her the scapegoat, and I won't stand for it. Adriana, scapegoat you've done it since what? you were six A years old. For her, an alcoholic? When Shana are you going does. to stop being part of the problem and start becoming part of the solution? No, I can't do what I told you. Yeah. I'll talk to mom next week. I, I, I've got to tell you something else instead. Would you please change my one o'clock to 12 o'clock? My 12 o'clock to two o'clock? And my two o'clock to Thursday at 4 o'clock.